The Embraer C-390 Millennium is a twin-engine, medium-sized, jet-powered military transport aircraft designed and manufactured by Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Embraer. It is the heaviest aircraft ever built by the company to date. Development of the project began in the mid-2000s, with initial efforts to develop a concept of an E-190 jet aircraft similar in size to the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, the company was keen to use turbofan jet engines instead of turboprops. Support for the venture came from the Brazilian government and the Brazilian Air Force. In May 2008, the government invested our $800 million, 440 million US dollars, in the development of the project. On April 14, 2009, Embraer was awarded a $1.5 billion contract for two prototypes at the 2011 Paris Air Show. Embraer announced plans to launch an expanded version of the aircraft as a civilian cargo aircraft. Partnerships were soon formed with various other aerospace companies in the program. The joint venture with Boeing was announced in November 2019, but quickly broke up within six months. The main subcontractors in the creation of this aircraft included Aero Vodokity, BAE Systems, and Rockwell Collins. On February 3, 2015, the first of two prototypes made its maiden flight. On September 4, 2019, the first production aircraft was delivered to the Brazilian Air Force. On November 18, 2019, during the Dubai Airshow, Embraer announced the new name of the aircraft for the global market, the C-390 Millennium. Several export customers for the C-390 have been secured, including the Portuguese Air Force, the Hungarian Air Force. And the Royal Netherlands Air Force, the C-390 can be configured to perform various conventional operations such as troop, VIP and cargo. Transportation, and more specialized logistics operations such as aerial refueling as tankers. It can carry payloads of up to 26 tons, 57,000 pounds, such as two full-chain wheeled M113 armored personnel carriers, one boxer armored vehicle, a Sikorsky H-60 helicopter, 74 liters with life support equipment, up to 80 soldiers or 66 fully equipped paratroopers. And payloads up to 42,000 pounds, 19 tons, can be dropped from the air. In the early 2000s, Brazilian aircraft manufacturers became interested in developing their own medium-sized transport aircraft, design studies initially based on a high-wing derivative of the existing E-190 jetliner, between 2005 and 2007, investigated the wing and engine mounting of the GECF-34 from a mature Embraer 190, E-190, with a cabin modified for use as cargo space, complete with rear ramp, closed-loop fly-by-wire system, and synthetic vision. In 2006, Embraer was studying the design of a military tactical transport of the same size as the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, which would be powered by 17,000 to 22,000 lbf, 75.6 to 98 knots, jet engines, such as the Pratt & Whitney PW-6000 and Rolls-Royce BR-715, in April 2007. Embraer publicly stated that it was studying a medium-sized aircraft. Referred to as the company's C-390, this transport aircraft is said to incorporate many of the technological solutions present in Embraer's E-Jet series and has a rear ramp for loading and unloading various cargoes. In March 2008, the Brazilian government planned to invest about our $60 million, equivalent to 33 million US dollars, in the initial development of the aircraft. Simultaneously, the Brazilian Air Force was in the process of concluding an initial purchase contract between 22 and 30 aircraft, while Embraer was negotiating with possible partners in the program. Two months later, the Brazilian Congress issued 800 million Brazilian reals, 440 million US dollars, to invest in the project and fund the development of the aircraft. Around this time, the media claimed that the aircraft would be operated not only by the Brazilian Air Force, but also by the Army and Navy, and there were unconfirmed sales to other government agencies in the works. 
On April 14, 2009 Emperor was awarded a $1.5 billion contract to develop and build two prototypes. At the launch of the program, the design was all new in terms of its fuselage, wings, flight deck and engine selection, therefore, the E-190 wing was omitted, partly due to its limited surface area. It was also stated that the aircraft would be the operational successor to the Brazilian Air Force's C-130 fleet. On April 14, 2009 Emperor was awarded a $1.5 billion contract to develop and build two prototypes. At the launch of the program, the design was all new in terms of its fuselage, wings, flight deck and engine selection, therefore, the E-190 wing was omitted, partly due to its limited surface area. It was also stated that the aircraft would be the operational successor to the Brazilian Air Force's C-130 fleet. In March 2010, Emperor drew up a development schedule, according to which the first prototype of the aircraft was scheduled to be delivered by the end of 2014. In July of that year, at the Farnborough Air Show, the Brazilian Air Force announced its intention to order 28 C-390s, while Emperor announced an increase in the aircraft's cargo capacity to 21 tons, 46,000 pounds. At the 2011 Paris Air Show, Emperor announced plans to launch an extended version of the C-390 focused on the civilian market for cargo sometime in 2018. It was estimated that the company would receive 200 to 250 orders over a 10-year period. To increase the internal capacity, two plugs will be added in front and behind the central part of the fuselage, which will also provide a new side cargo door. In April 2011, Emperor estimated that 695 military transport aircraft would need to be replaced in the next decade. To increase the internal capacity, two plugs will be added in front and behind the central part of the fuselage, which will also provide a new side cargo door. In April 2011, Emperor estimated that 695 military transport aircraft would need to be replaced in the next decade. On December 14, 2011, Brazil and Portugal agreed on a defense partnership with Empresa de Engenharia Aeronautica EEA, to develop engineering data for the KC-390 components, which will be manufactured by Emperor's Portuguese subsidiary OGMA. In April 2012, the American aerospace giant Boeing and Emperor signed a cooperation agreement. Two months later, an agreement was signed by the two companies to collaborate on the development of the C-390 and possibly also extended to sales. In June 2013, Boeing agreed to market the C-390 in the US, UK and the Middle East under a June 2012 MAU. On November 18, 2019, it was announced that Boeing and Emperor would form a new joint venture to promote and develop new markets for the C-390 Millennium. This new company, Boeing Ember Defense, will divide its ownership between 51% of the shares held by Emperor and 49% by Boeing, it will begin operations after the granting of regulatory approvals and the fulfillment of closing requirements.